What's going on Landshark Nation? Victor Lubin here checking in Mr. Landshark himself and in today's video I got a really special guest for you guys, my good longtime friend Ben Gigavik and he's really been making a name for himself in the snook fishing world. He's going to talk to you guys about his favorite time of year to catch a giant snook. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Ben Begovic here. I'm going to give you a breakdown of my favorite times of the year to fish for big snook uh, to catch a genuine giant fish. Um, typically a big fish is considered to be over 20 pounds, 25, 30, 35, even close to 40 pounds. Um, my favorite time of the year to target these fish is going to be between the early summer months of May all the way through summer ending in the end of August are typically a great time to go target big fish. Number one, because they're spawning, they're in big numbers, so the big breeder females will be in the inlets and in the passes and in the bridges. Um, and then there's a transition period between August and basically the middle of September where those fish are going to leave the spawning grounds and they're gonna disperse. And from the middle of September to about the beginning of November, even the middle of November, is what we look for on the East Coast as the mullet run. Uh, the mullet run is one of the most fascinating times and great, greatest times to be snook fishing. Snook season is open, so you're allowed to kill slot fish then. And typically big fish are around because there's a lot of bait, a lot of activity, and they're hungry. Uh, usually that first run in the beginning of September is really hot because they're first seeing the mullet, they're not getting used to the big pushes, and they're very hungry. Um, that is basically when I want to fish for big fish. Uh, last year we had five before November that were over 30 pounds and I think over 20 I want to say or 30 fish over 25 pounds between those exact months between May and November. It's a long stretch. There's a lot of things to take in consideration including tide and moon phases but that's for another discussion. Uh, I'll let you guys figure that out on your own. And if you guys have any other questions, uh, please let me know, comment below, um, and subscribe to Slayer Circuit or on uh, Instagram at bbegovic. 